I want for Christmas is to stop hearing about Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Quick, Kanye, do something crazy again. Good evening, citizens of the world. My name is Stiff Rockwood, and this is Jizz News, coming to you from our parent company at the Spunk Network, where we cover it all and give it to you hard and quick. This is Last Month of Music News, where we bring you sort of current music news from last month to distract you from your miserable lives. I never thought I'd long for the days when hot lead singers of bands would pee on a guy's face on stage. (laughs) I'm willing to overlook it. Call me. Britney Spears has finally released a tell-all book with revelations about questionable things Justin Timberlake did when he was 19 years old. A story that wasn't in the book was about how Britney Spears knew that Char Jackson was pregnant with Kevin Federline's child when she, quote, stole him from her. Funny how that works. Something about throwing stones in glass houses, or in Britney's case, waving knives around in a straitjacket. Which I don't think is even possible. It's the end of the year, folks. What do you want from me? Kim Kardashian told her sister Courtney that Kim's daughter Northwest told her that her dad Kanye West has it all figured out and where he lives is cooler because it's a smaller apartment and doesn't have a nanny or a chef. Kim said that Northwest is her lesson in life to try to be more patient. That's a funny way of saying she's trying not to slap the shit out of the spoiled brat. And if Kanye has it all figured out, then I'm the goddamn Easter Bunny. A life-size cake of Ozzy Osbourne was on display at the Cake International Show in Birmingham, England. Sharon Osbourne mistakenly took the cake home thinking it was the real Ozzy when she had a more coherent and engaging conversation with it. (laughs) Kate Bush was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Tune into next year's ceremony when they induct an interpretive dance student because he once experimented with drugs and blasted fart noises into a tape recorder. It's not a knock on Kate Bush, people. It's an incredible honor, and she's great in her own right. It's a knock on the system capitalizing off of her recent success. Paul McCartney said that he was scared that when he performed his song Live and Let Die in concert that a 90-year-old woman in the front row was going to die when it came time for the loud explosion of pyrotechnics. He said he was concerned because it was like he was looking into a mirror. People don't know this, but Paul was the fifth golden girl. Mm, He makes a pretty old lady. And now a story where a young music star says something completely f***ing stupid. Seems like every day. Billie Eilish was critical of people judging her body and said, Nobody ever says a thing about men's bodies. If you're muscular, cool. If you're not... Cool. If you're real thin, cool. If you have a dad bod, cool. If you're pudgy, love it. Everybody's happy with it. You know why? Because girls are nice. They don't give a f because we see people for who they are. This you, bro? The most beautiful girls get asked by the worst dudes to prom and they're like, yeah, because they finally found someone that likes them. <laughs> why is every pretty girl with a horrible looking man? I don't understand. Listen, I'm not shaming people for their looks, but I am, though. Billie Eilish also said that she would lose her identity and her hair transformations. 2019, that period of my life when I dyed my hair green, I was completely unstoppable. I'm finally happy. Then COVID hit. Another album happened. I got older and fell back into being a human and not being happy all the time. Having good moments and having bad moments. God, I miss 2019 so much. When can my life feel like that again? Can you please shut the f*** up? Go cry in your cereal, emo baby. This brings us to our wonderful sponsors. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Induction Ceremony Qualifications Guide. The visual makes it much better. Just be someone that made some noises at some time in your life and you're automatically in. Does not apply to the Pointer Sisters or Iron Maiden or Peter Frampton or Dio or Jethro Tull or Thin Lizzy or The Runaways or Bad Company or... Billie Eilish Mood Wigs. Slide them on and be completely free of rational objective thought with unadulterated bliss. Buy them all and unlock levels of clown never known before. Now I'd like to document a story on the Who Gives a Shit file. Yes, I'm giving it attention, but who gives a shit anyway? Lauren Hill showed her appreciation to her fans for showing up to her concerts and putting up with her bullshit lateness for years now. How did she show her appreciation? 
by scolding them and telling them that they're lucky she's even on stage. She tried blaming her lateness on her voice not being 100%. Maybe she needs to see a podiatrist instead of a voice doctor because her voice isn't the problem. I mean, what do you privileged fans that spend your hard-earned money and time want? For her to fulfill her obligations that she agreed to? Unreasonable idiots. To Lauren Hill's excuses and disdain for her fans, I say, who gives a shit? I want to share the name of my new favorite band. I haven't listened to any of their songs, but they win greatest band name ever with the name Mannequin Pussy. They said the inspiration for the name came from reports of Madonna smelling like a hundred year old plastic factory. Once again, nothing against Madonna. That's it folks, I'm retiring after that one. Israel's foreign ministry is now asking Taylor Swift to help find the missing 19-year-old Israeli soldier because she's a Swifty. The soldier had been missing for a month at the time of the request. Do they know that Taylor Swift sings songs about ex-boyfriends? They tried summoning Taylor with a soy latte signal in the sky, but there was no response. I'm not the content creator that you deserve, but I'm the content creator that you need. The judge and the young thug racketeering and gang trial said that prosecutors will be allowed to enter rap song lyrics as evidence. Because there's nothing more truthful than rap lyrics and they're not embellished at all. Take it from Tyler the Creator on his song Tron Cat when he rapped, I'm awesome and I f*** dolphins. Let's hope someone that looks like Tyler the Creator doesn't break into SeaWorld and do exactly what we've all thought about doing at one point or another. Am I right? Travis and Jason Kelsey were both featured on the Philadelphia Eagles' holiday album that came out. One of them was a finalist for People's Sexiest Man Alive in 2023. Guess which one? I know it's hard to tell, but try. Gene Simmons said that he would love to see Kiss live on with four brand new faces to keep the band alive. He did, however, say that it's a non-negotiable that at least one of the new members has to have a disgusting persona and constantly talk about his dick and sleeping with 5,000 women. Wonderful guy. Jennifer Lopez let out a teaser clip for her ninth studio album called This Is Me Now. She said it's going to be an experience unlike any other that she's given her fans and that she's taking them on, and I quote, a musical experience, unlike the other times. You know how I know the Grammys aren't a serious organization? The song I'm Just Ken by Ryan Gosling from the Barbie movie was nominated for Best Song Written for Visual Media. One of the lines in the song is, Is it my destiny to live and die a life of blonde fragility? Eat a bag of dicks, Grammys. Well, folks, that's all the news for now. You will like this video. Comment down below and subscribe. I'm Stiff Rockwood, and this is Jizz News. You know what I always say, <laughs> Who gives a shit? Until next time. You know what time it is, people. You hear the squeals. No, that's not Taylor Swift playing tight end in Travis Elsie's hot tub. It's the horrifying sounds of the Christmas demon Mariah Carey thawing out. Nobody is safe.